Hey, John Barson here, Total Health Magazine. We're still on the green carpet here at Expo West in Anaheim 2015. It's a crazy show running back and forth. Like, ah, uh, they need golf carts here. <laughs> really, we need golf carts. Or those, uh, what do they call those things? You stand on them and you push them, the two wheelers. But uh, we're back uh, on the carpet and joining me now is, um, it's funny, I was doing a, some research on uh, toxins in your clothing because Gloria's article is so popular in our magazine. And I thought, what about toxic mattresses? We know that there are a lot of problems with mattresses. Most mattresses are so toxic you really shouldn't be sleeping on them in the first place, or at least you know wrap them in a big plastic bag. Uh, and we're going to find out why, because with me is the expert on mattresses. Would you consider yourself an expert on mattresses, Barry? I'll, uh, I'll do that for you. <laughs> okay, Barry is the president of uh, Naturepedic. Naturepedic. Naturepedic mattresses. Uh, they, you're based where? We're based in Amish country, Ohio, northeast Ohio, near Akron and Cleveland. Okay, terrific. And what he makes is organic mattresses. Now, what's the big deal about organic mattresses? It's all about uh, health and chemicals. Um, people do not want all these chemicals. There are 84,000 chemicals approved um, that are running around in, in the environment, and you just don't know which one of those are in, in any product, not just mattresses, but certainly mattresses. What's important about mattresses is that uh, you sleep on a mattress for about a third of your life. Let's say you're sleeping eight hours, that's a third of your life. Which means by the time you hit age 75, you will have slept on a mattress for 25 years. 25 years. So that means like, and if I was on a non-organic mattress, that would mean 25 years of breathing flame retardants. Uh, yeah. Uh, of breathing uh, off-gassing from yeah. these mattresses. Yeah. Of, uh, and, and it's not just the the off-gas because if you if you perspire like summertime when you're hot and sweaty. Yeah. And you're sweating on that mattress. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Is is that not adding to the damage? It's adding to the damage, especially if the mattress is gets hot itself. And a lot of the mattresses on the market, they get real hot, and the mattress itself help, creates the sweat. Um, and it makes it only that makes it only it makes worse. It that much worse. Yeah, you 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 prefer a mattress that doesn't get hot and sweaty. You want something that's a little bit more breathable. Right. Okay. So, uh, anyways, back to your question. I got sidetracked. What was your question? What was what's the big thing about mattresses? All right. Well, the big thing is about chemicals, mostly chemicals. It's about your health. Uh, because you're in a mattress for so long, uh, why not? Why not take a little bit of extra right. attention? People don't pay attention to a mattress. The mattress is actually, other than the food that you eat, the mattress is, is the most important furniture type item in your house because you are, you're, you're hugging that mattress for... Well, you know, this, this is perfect. I had a conversation earlier today with somebody and I said there's two things that, that you need to really consider because I was mentioning that I was going to be talking with you. Okay. I said, there's two things that you need to really consider in your life, aside from diet, you're right. Your mattress, because yeah. you're on your yeah. back for 25, like you said, yeah. 25 yeah. out of 75 years. Yeah. And the other is your feet. Yeah. Everybody comments on my shoes. They're like, wow, those look comfortable. <laughs> yeah, because I learned a long time ago. Yeah. You're right. Good footwear. So yeah. good footwear saves your body yeah. and a great mattress. Yeah. And you get great sleep. You're right. All you're right. right. So. The other reason I wanted to talk with you, because I was really excited when I went to your website and I looked at the products because, um, I mean, sure, it's great that I, I would you know, want to sleep on an organic mattress, but you have crib mattresses. Yep. This is why I want to talk to them. If you got babies, if you know somebody with a baby, you're having a baby, you have grandchildren that are about to be born, start them off on the right mattress, on an organic mattress. Look at the incidences of of uh, autism and and all of these different disorders that kids are developing and you constantly hear well what we don't know what it is because as you mentioned there's over 80,000 chemicals that we're exposed to or potentially exposed to in the environment that have never been tested against on humans let alone children so you can as Dr. Christine Horner said earlier today when we were talking with her about her book uh, the, the warrior goddess uh, she talks about breast cancer she said you know women just did one thing they could reduce their risk of breast cancer by 50%. So think about it. If you just did the mattress, how many chemicals are you not exposing yourself to by just changing that one item? Well, let's talk about the chemicals in the mattress, or any chemicals. So 
Nobody wants toxic chemicals, okay? Uh, but industry will, they, they don't want toxic chemicals, and they tend to take the position that, you know, it's just a little tiny bit, not going to hurt you. And, and they justify it on a premise which, which says that the dose makes the poison. It's a well-known, you have to have enough of a dose for it to be called the poison. If Correct. It's, if it's too small, it's, it, it's not going to hurt you. It's just too small. It's just too small. Like right. vaccines, when they say, well, it's, there's it, such a little bit of amount of mercury in there. But then they give you 46 <laughs> vaccines between the age of one year and two years old. <laughs> All right. So, so the Don't dose... Don't get me started on vaccines. <laughs> so the dose makes the poison. And they're technically correct. So, but let's take it one step further. Okay, the dose makes the poison. But do you really know what dose is harmful? Then it becomes trickier, see? Yeah, you're right. Maybe it's too little, but maybe not. Do you really know the, what dose triggers it? They really haven't been tested. They haven't been tested. So the whole argument falls apart. But let's take it, let's take it further. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have a headache. Okay? What do you do? You pop an aspirin. What percent of that aspirin, let's say you do. Okay, I was going to say. All right, whatever. I'm just okay. using this as an example. Okay. Let's say, let's say you pop an aspirin. So what percent of that aspirin is, is active ingredient? Not the whole thing, just, just a part of just it. Just a part just of just it. Just a little part of it. Okay? And then that little part goes down into your stomach. What percentage of that little part makes it into your bloodstream? Just a percentage of that. A very small percentage of that. Correct. But guess what? That little teeny, weeny, teeny, tiny, pea, little bit of aspirin makes your headache go away. Wow. That's pretty good. See? That's a little tiny dose. So you're saying it could be sleeping on a king-size toxic mattress? <laughs> well, you, so you're getting the point. Right. You're getting the point. The point is we don't know. How little is little? Right. We don't know where that dose, are you willing to take that chance with yourself or with a baby? Right. And, and, and our, 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 our approach is no. No. We're not interested in taking chances. And then it gets worse. What about cumulative? Let's say that little teeny weeny dose comes out tonight, baby breathes it, whatever. Then, oh, tomorrow night again, the next night again. 365 days for two years again. And for some reason that child develops asthma. Whatever. Whatever, right. You know, we don't know what. We don't know what what's causes doing what. what. Which is part of the problem. When you have 84,000 chemicals out there, even if they're not all widely used, you don't know what's doing what to who. It's no. not possible. No. no scientist in the world can even begin to tell you it's, 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 it's above and beyond anything we can figure out. So why not just step back and say, we're not interested? And not only that, but, that, that, but those little tiny chemicals today, tomorrow, the next day, uh, what about the other chemical that it reacts with that you didn't think about and it create a third chemical? A great example of that are those little plug-in air purifiers. You plug them into the wall. Yeah. Did you know that uh, <laughs> the chemical, the off-gas of those, when combined with ozone from car exhaust, converts it into a very similar gas to the gas they used to poison the Kurds in Iraq. I believe it completely. I, I, I'm not by familiar itself, with by that. By itself, it's just I a believe, chemical I wouldn't I want to breathe. But you combine it with, the, with ozone, car exhaust, and all of a sudden, boom, you, you've got a problem. There are thousands of those kinds of examples. We can't even keep track of it. Because you talk about the mattress. Okay, you're sleeping on the mattress for 25 years. Yep. What about the couch? What about the couch? Right now, you're sitting on the couch for what? Five years? Whatever. Whatever, whatever many years. Whatever. And then what about the clothes you buy? What about the clothes you buy? What about the carpet? That green carpet? And the, oh, see, I have no carpets in my house. Oh, good for you. Zero carpets. Good for you. But I also don't just, you're thinking, you know what a great idea, get rid of my carpets, go to laminated flooring. Make sure your laminated flooring doesn't have... Vinyl? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's coming to me. It's coming to me. <laughs> uh, it off gases. Um, it's a common, they, they banned it in California. It, formaldehyde. formaldehyde, thank you very much. Uh, let's, let's start that back up. Okay, right. so your floor. So your floor, you don't just put laminated flooring on your floor. Make sure that the laminated flooring doesn't contain formaldehyde. Correct. Because you're replacing one poison with another. Correct. That's, that's part of the problem. And that goes with the government stuff too. Every time the government says, oh, well, we're banning this, 
And the, what do the manufacturers do? They don't go out of business, they just find the next chemical. Okay, they're doing that with phthalates. Phthalates are, are uh, plasticizers that are used in baby mattresses on the surface for the vinyl. And bottles and cups. And, and other things. So the government uh, banned a bunch of phthalates and now they're banning more. But guess what? Every time the government bans more, the, uh, I went into a, a lab and talking to a guy, and what are you doing? He said, oh, I'm just making new phthalates. They take the old formulas. And they tweak it. They tweak it. They make new, 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 and it's not banned, it's legal. And, they, and it's doing the same thing that the product that we no. banned was. They're gonna claim that it isn't until the government bans those. So it's a, it's a. See, now you're asking, you're saying to yourself, how am I gonna sleep tonight now? Well, the way to do it is to step back. Step back. Step back, start clean start again say what how are we going to do this a little better and especially for a baby a baby doesn't sleep a third of its life a baby sleeps at least half of its life and maybe two-thirds of its life on a mattress so if there's, it, the most important item for a baby is that crib mattress right no no, no toys about it so, so question yeah uh, how long have you been with, are, were, you founded the company or you, you yeah it? You so did? i'll tell you my story okay I do not come from the mattress business or from industry, and I was never in wholesale or retail or any of that. I'm a board certified environmental engineer. I have been chasing chemicals for a living for 30 years now. That's what I do for a living, okay? I'm also certified by the Institute of Professional Environmental Practice. I'm also certified, I'm also a certified hazardous materials manager. I'm also uh, an author of a textbook for government institutes on environmental assessments. I am uh, a, a certified diplomat forensic engineer. I get to testify in court as an expert witness, which I don't do that anymore. I don't have time, but I'm able to. Um, and a couple other things. I'm certified by the state of Ohio and whatever. Um, that's my background. Okay. Twelve years ago, my wife sent me to a baby store to buy a crib mattress and a few other things for our first grandchild. I walk into the store, I'm looking around, all the mattresses are vinyl, phthalates, polyurethane foam with flame retardants, pesticides, and other stuff, GMOs, whatever. But wait, there's more. <laughs> you know, and I'm saying, well, what else do you have that I can buy? And salesperson says, what's your problem? I mean, this is the way quality mattresses are made. And I, I don't know about that. You know, I just don't know what to do. Finally, she says, oh, come on, cut it out. She says, if it wasn't safe, the government wouldn't allow it to be sold. So. <laughs> if I had a nickel, every time I heard so, that. So that, that was my moment of truth. I came home. And you, you know. said the baby's sleeping on the floor. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> Actually, we, we started joking around, and I said, you know what, my grandfather uh, slept on straw. So why don't we go to our Amish friends, which are not far, go to our Amish friends, and get some straw. Get some straw. That would be more... And more. a manger. <laughs> <laughs> so we're joking around. You know, of course, in the end, we couldn't just do that. But we're joking around, and we finally, we finally just made something, and one thing led to the other. And here we are. And that was how it started. And that's, it just started. I, thing you know. If you would have told me 13 years ago that I'd be in the mattress business, I would have looked at you like, okay, you've been drinking too much. <laughs> you know, I, it, it, I, just, I, just, I just fell into yes. it. It's like falling into a hole. And here I am, and I got to do something, and then it, it takes off. And that's what happened. All right, well. I'm definitely going to be recommending your mattresses to our readers because you're obviously on camera here. Thank you. And uh, we have the website information down below on the page there so you can click on the links. Uh, Barry, uh, great stuff. You know, I, I love stories like that. You know, our, our company, our magazine, we've been in print for so long. Uh, we really, uh, you know, the goal of our magazine is to uh, give people information so they can take charge of their own health care. So they can ask the right questions and start researching and, you know, questioning okay. what's going on. Right. And you obviously took it to a, an extreme. <laughs> you started asking questions, and the next thing you know, you're the mattress king. So uh, thanks for that, and uh, we, you know, are, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of kids that will not know that they've got a much healthier start in life because they're on one of your mattresses. Thank you as well.
Thank you very much. Barry Chick from Naturopedic. Is it naturopedic.com? Yeah. Naturopedic.com. So check out his mattresses. Naturopedic.com and lullabyearth.com. And lullabyearth.com for the babies. No, the Naturopedic is for babies and adults. Uh -huh. Lullaby Earth is just for babies. Uh, Lullaby Earth is a great mattress without all the fire retardants and the pesticides and all that stuff and the phthalates. Uh, uh, Naturopedic takes it a step higher. Naturopedic is certified organic. So we use premium materials in the Naturopedic, but that's a more expensive product. Okay. The Lullaby Earth is a basic, nice, good product. So Lullaby Earth is a, is a basic, safe product for a child, Correct. for a baby. Correct. But if you want to go to the organic extreme, then you yeah, can move up to we don't, the... We don't, we don't call it extreme, well, but if you want to go organic and to a higher standard... Yeah, why did I use that yeah. word? That's not a good word. Extreme <laughs> is not a good word. If you want to go organic... There you go. That was another conversation I had today was the difference between non-GMO and organic. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a huge difference because non-GMO means you can have pesticides, heavy metals, yeah. and all yeah. of these terrible things yeah. in the food. Yeah. But no GMOs. Yeah, no GMOs. And then, of course, there's organic, which, which is, is a much organic. higher standard. Much higher standard. Yeah. Now, on our, on our Lullaby Earth, we don't have pesticides, and we don't have plasticizers, and we don't have flame retardants, and so on. Um, uh, so it's a basic standard for a safer kind of product. Great. But for people who want to go all the way and get premium materials, organic cotton, basically, yes. you know, th then you go Naturopedic. Okay. And then Naturopedic also does luxury adult. And, and children's and you know everything right okay but we got a great place to start that's start. the main thing yep all right so now you know where to get your organic mattresses naturepeed.com and lullabyearth.com yep. and uh, that's it barry chick thank you for being with us today thank you thank you only good things expo west anaheim 2015 see you back in the studio